So this is this is actually a cut and paste of the home page, and we're going to show you the Zoom Dash next. Um, with Zoom Link and Zoom IQ, you can get your data directly from Zoom Link without subscription or cloud fees. You can also host your app on the cloud and pay cloud fees directly to Amazon or any of those services. These systems are completely customizable, and they can be scaled as your network grows. You can add new sites or add new sensors. This system is not only compatible with Wave Contact, but other systems such as OEM Tech and Agitech. So let's take a look at the demo, which is my favorite part. Um, this is the welcome screen that we showed before. And so what we're doing here is that I'm, attached, I'm, I'm connected by internet, and I can do it by, via, um, in, in other ways as well, but I'm connected via ethernet to the Zoom with radio. So from the radio itself, this is where the, the radio itself, the Zoom Link radio, is hosting this app, and I'm getting the user interface from the radio. So in the main screen, we've got information about the radio itself. We've got the site name, which in a previous demo I named Michelle number 762. Um, we've also got the last, we, we can also post system alerts here. Um, and then the last note, you can actually input notes into the system was that um, Greg replaced the coax cable on the demo. Um, we've used a really small fraction, nine megabytes of the storage. We've got about a one gig of storage and 512 um, meg RAM. And then you can also later in the demo um, set the pressure logging interval or the tank level logging interval. So what we're gonna show you today, let's go back to the welcome screen is that we have three wireless pressure endpoints that we've connected into the wave contact gateway. And then we've got two um, endpoints that are connected um, by heart to a couple of level sensors. Um, the, the gateway is connected to the Zoom Link hardware by um, Ethernet and Modbus TCP. Um, and so, so right now what we're doing is pulling data from the network itself. So let's take a look at the tank statuses. We've got two tanks, and in each tank we've got, we're measuring oil and water. We're measuring the two different levels. And so you can see what the instantaneous data is looking like, as well as trended data. And you can set the data for, um, you know, to, to show you a day or a week or a month, so that you can troubleshoot from your well pad or from your desk, or say if you're on vacation in Greece, you can uh, monitor it from there too. Um, this is the pressure status, and in this simulation, what we're modeling is tubing, casing, and surface pressure. Um, it looks as if the surface pressure is offline. It was taken off um, a couple of days ago, but you can see that this is something that would appear on, on, your, um, on your dashboard, and you'd know almost immediately, well, pretty immediately if it came off, offline. So in this case, you could send someone out to um, put the pressure sensor online again, and you would get an alert if that's the way you set the system up to do, um, and, and you would have that information. You can also check the radio status. Um, the sig there's a signal level and single margin, signal margin. Um, the endpoint status, so for the wireless pressure sensors, you can see that endpoint number three for the surface pressure is offline but the tubing and the casing pressure sensors are there. And you can also see that the batteries are pretty fully charged. This is one of those things that, that becomes very difficult to see if you have a sleepy endpoint, um, device, endpoint device attached to your sensor. You don't always know when it's going to run out of power. And this way, you've got immediate access, and you know exactly where your power needs are. You can also configure. Your, you can configure your wall site. This is where I called it the shell number 762. I'm going to call it the Gisela number 9. Because Gisela is sitting, next, sitting with me. And in terms of notes, I'm going to say pressure, sensor, pressure, wireless pressure sensor, pressure sensor is off. We'll submit that. Um, and then you can also set your logging intervals for the analog pressure inputs and tank, tank levels. Let's see if that took. We'll look at the main, 
Sure enough, this is the just cell in number nine now, and the wireless pressure sensor is off, which is pretty cool. Now, um, what's interesting about this product as well is that there's a Zoom, or not a Zoom IQ, there's a, a SQL database, a MySQL database attached to it. So all this data is going into a database, and depending on how often you check your intervals, you could have enough, we've just been logging for about a week, you could have enough data, you could have enough room there um, for a year's worth of data. You can also automatically erase the data. And here I'm querying a table of the results. Let's try the alarm. This one's got alarms in it. So what you can also do is export the data, pull that up into SQL or Word or PDF or and CSV, anything you want. Okay, so let's go back to, and that, that concludes the demonstration.